Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Welcome Back to Figs Outside. So today we're going to be doing a uh, double din radio install in a 2005 Dodge. Uh, this is mine. Um, the radio is totally dead. It's factory stock. I just, yeah, it's dead, dead. Um, so looks to be pretty easy. I've never done one of these, so it should be kind of a fun adventure. Um, so anyway, let's get to it. I'll show you guys what it uh, what it takes. All right, guys. So. Here's the factory one, we're gonna replace that. Um, this whole piece pops out. Um, and so what it takes is there's one screw that holds it all together. And you can see it right there in the middle. It's just a standard Phillips. And then um, <clears throat> we get that popped out and then this whole piece will pop out. So uh, let's see if we can uh, get this going here. Sorry guys, this is uh, kind of interesting. Doing this with uh, one hand. There it is. Little screw. Put that in there. And then, so um, one thing that I have seen is you gotta pull this. Yeah, see that whole piece just pops out. You just grab onto that, and this whole piece will come out. And then uh, I can't do this with one hand, guys. So uh, one thing you do gotta do is what I've seen is a lot of people do. I don't know. I'll let you know here in just a second. Is they have to fold the shifter all the way down. So I will let you know if I have to do that, but I'm going to get this pulled out since I don't, uh, since I need both hands and then we'll uh, go on from there. All right guys, so actually I didn't need to pull the shifter down. Um, sorry, there's going to be a glare because the sun uh, actually was dumping rain earlier. So all I did is I just folded the top down. So here's what it looks like in the back of it all. I don't know if I can shade that enough for you guys. Um, no, that's not going to work. So basically, this, these right here for the controls for um, those right there and so all you got to do is unplug those <clears throat> and then same on this side there's wires these are just push plugs you can see the little snap and then you'll just pull those out then you have four Phillips screws right here so we'll get that popped out and then uh, show you guys the next step all right so We've got those unplugged like i said they, they pop out this one was a little bit difficult i just had to wiggle it not a big deal all the other ones they're just no nothing super special there's little push tabs um you have four of them and so then i just undid the screws the radio comes out you gotta lift it up a little bit to get the wiring out so this is your antenna side and this is your plug inside the antenna oops, sorry guys the antenna piece right here can be kind of difficult so you might just need to wiggle it and you want to lift that up and then it should just slide out. You might have to use like a little pry, like a screwdriver or something to pry that up. Um, but just wiggle it and then that should come out. And then uh, we'll take on the next step, which is the fun step. All right, y'all. So another real quick thing before we get too far into this. Um, so like I said, I'm replacing that uh, factory stereo with a double din. So the factory one is too narrow. So we're going to have to cut that out. But you also need to... Um, what is it? Oh, that's the uh, uh, antenna extension. You also need to buy one of these kits. Um, this is where I got mine. And so, uh, anyway, what it is it replaces that factory center one. Oh, my God, sorry. <clears throat> Which I need to do in just a second. So it's got these plastic welds on here. And so what you gotta do is find those, there's, let's see, we got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of those uh, just plastic welds. So you got to drill those out, and then you have this piece, which will accept the double din because that is way too small. Um, if you look at the size comparison, it's quite the difference. Um, so this one compared to this. So anyway, you got to drill those out. This whole bracket will come out. And then what you have to do is you need to, uh, this one goes in its place. It'll set in there and then you need to either JB weld it or hot glue it or super glue it or whatever you can do to get that this piece to go into this part to replace. Well, it's actually not this backing plate. It's this piece right here because this outer piece has the clip. So. Let that be known too. Um, 
is that it's replacing this piece, which is the factory um, textured front right here. So it'll replace this whole piece right here. So quite a, quite a bit of difference in there. I mean, you can see the difference. So we're gonna drill that out. And then this is the replacement. And then what I have to do is because it's too narrow to fit the double dip radio is use a like oscillating saw. You can also use a hand saw or, or an air saw. Um, that's terrible. Sorry guys. Um, what you gotta do is you gotta cut in here. You wanna make sure it's flush. Cut straight down. And then cut all the way across underneath. And then same thing back up in here. There's nothing back here. There's nothing back here, it's just hollow. So you need to cut this piece out, same thing. And that'll give you enough room to install that doubled in radio. Okay. All right guys, so here it is, is I just, uh, I'm drilling out the back side of that. So what I use is a smaller drill bit. And then I went up to this, just to drill uh, more of like a pilot hole. You can see it right there to get a more center instead of just trying to use a big chunky one right off the get go. And so it's super soft plastic, so it just goes slow. Just a little bit, and it doesn't take much. And you'll feel it when it breaks through that little tiny plastic weld. It's right there. Um, and so, like, and then I'll just clean these up as I go. But you can see it right there, this one's already popped. Um, several of these are already, they, they pop through. It's pretty easy. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. Um, I've already got all these. So kind of hard to be careful with one hand, so. Anyway, that's just what I'm doing. And so the first drill bit I used, um, every bit's, or every one's probably gonna be a little bit different. So this one is, oh, sorry guys, I had my finger in there. This one's gonna be an 11, ooh, 11 64ths. And I believe this one, um, I'm not sure, a little bit bigger. It, it, it fits perfectly in the, in the melt of the weld. Uh, let's see, actually, I don't know if it can be able to read it. Um, yeah, and this one's so rusted, guys, I can't even, can't even read it. Can't even find it on there. But if it's the welds, you can do that. All right. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got those all drilled out, popped out. Here's the old one. That's the new one up there. Um, you see the little tabs where I had to drill them out. The one thing that uh, I had to do also is I got a smaller drill bit and I had to drill these out and they were up here. And these little tabs, you can see the drill bit there where I drilled it out and then they just kind of broke off. The new one doesn't have that on there, so I don't think you really need them. I don't know. Um, but even if so, you can always hot glue it or a tiny bit of JB weld. You don't have to get all crazy. So, uh, let's pop these little foam deals off. Sorry, guys. Out of my garage, my real garage. A few more months, hopefully. Remember what I said, big change is coming. So anyway, guys, so let's see if I can get this to match up. One handed, boom, just like that. And so now I'm just gonna take and put a little, so I'll rough those up a little bit. Um, that fits in there pretty nice. Try to get this without it falling apart on me here. And so there it is there, a little side view. So that's how it'll look. Yeah, not too bad. Um, also, what I had to do before I took that out, I should have showed you guys that, as you probably already noticed, is there's four screws on each. So this is the little, uh, the little, I don't know, faux jockey box remote. I don't know what it is. Anyway, that's that's the piece that was down here on the bottom. And then of course you have your heating and AC controls. Then there's four screws on that also. Uh, another good thing that I wanted to let you guys know about is if you're um, the lights that are going if they're going dead or if they've died on this then these are the little light bulbs um and those just kind of twist and pop out and that's how you replace those and so they make led ones now and so you're, you can actually have some better lighting but anyway so that's that and i'm gonna get the hot glue gun fired up and then i'm gonna glue that in there and then uh on to the next step and that's cutting out that that little bracket all right guys all right guys so Got the little cubby put back in, the temperature controls, and all I did is I just used some heavy duty hot glue around those little dimples. Um, 
work kind of worked it back up in there too um so anyway got that done so i'm gonna put this in the back and then uh yeah then we gotta cut that little shelf out all right see you in your all right guys so i got the oscillating saw and like i said earlier let's see if we can get it focus with the sun oh man that's really bad so sorry guys about the glare so yeah you just want to cut it flush right along through there cut it straight back down here and then like i said um cut it back up into here let's get, uh, focus all right and then cut it right along through here to the other side back up or you can just cut both tops and then work the bottom off so that's what we're gonna do I'll show you guys why so here's my new doubled in um so you can see she's not quite there doesn't quite fit goes in just a little bit but that tapers up it actually slow slightly tapers up um so you could even cut it across here if you wanted but uh i'm just going to cut it across the bottom don't really need that part anyway it's not really bracing anything and then we'll get the brackets all set on the side and uh, i'll show you what it looks like here in a second all right guys so there it is got that piece cut out you can see right there and i just cut along the bottom of it and that's that's the piece right there this is really soft plastic um, so it came out super easy so I said you can you can use um, an oscillating saw and if you don't have one of those oscillating saws you can actually get um, just a hacksaw blade or even a sawzall blade um, this stuff cuts super easy actually it was so easy to cut even barely uh, using that oscillating saw just barely feathering the trigger the plastic was melting so it is definitely definitely super soft um, so yep got all picked all the edges off nice and clean and then uh, I got my radio set up uh, with the little mounting brackets man it's really bright sorry guys um, so yeah that was it I'm gonna get it all uh, plugged in and we'll see how it works hopefully it works like I said I've never really done this before I've watched a just a couple videos um, and talking to a buddy of mine who installs radios and he's the one that just told me how easy it was and uh, basically what to do um, and so anyway I'm gonna get it all put together and we'll see how it works all right guys uh, before I get too carried away um, I kind of brain farted and missed a step um, well not in the process but before I hook this up um, I have the adapter wiring har harnesses um, this one plugs into the factory one this is the connection here and this one is the one for this radio this specific radio I'll go over that um, actually I'll probably end up putting it in the beginning of the video to kind of give you a you know, down low on what this one is just here's a quick pick of it anyway um, so I gotta wire this all up real quick um, not too bad just uh, get some butt connectors and uh, we'll get that going and they're all labeled um even the adapter they're labeled on wire i don't know if you guys can see that but it tells you you know the, the constant uh the left front negative yada 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 and then the one that came with the radio is all labeled as well with these nice little black tags so that's cool all right i'm gonna get this together all right guys well got her installed um she's working got some sound so uh it took a little bit of time. Um, what I had to do is on the radio, um, on the side plates um, that connect into the side of the stereo, there's the tiny little short screws. I had to mess with those because um, you can adjust them up or down a little bit. So I went to the furthest top one because um, I tried it where I had it and it just wouldn't clear the top of this. Right there, um, focus, right there was catching up in here. So I had to drop the radio, which means I had to raise the brackets to the very top. Once I did that, um, it just snapped all in. And now I just got to put that last little screw back. Uh, on two of the tabs on the top up here, sorry, um, the hot glue did not hold. But what, I wish I kind of would have looked a little bit deeper into this. So it come, this, this kit right here that comes with the front, this bevel, comes with these little spacers right here and these little spacers also have these little screws and so these are the two large ones 
or excuse me, these are the five larger spacers. And it also had two of the little bit smaller, about half the size, about the size of the center right there. Um, I don't know if it'll focus. Anyway, it's about the size of the center. You slide those over those ears that we had to drill out that are on the main part of the flange here, um, or the bevel, I should say, that this hooks to where I put the hot glue. Anyway, where I put the hot glue, you can see there's little holes in there and a pretty cool design. That's where these go. I wish I would have looked into that a little more. But anyway, I put them in the top. Everything else is secure. I'm going to keep those just in case. So those come with this kit from Metra. Um, and here, uh, you can see right there, it's got, fits 2002 to 2005. That is the installer's choice. That's the part. Um, so those are pretty cool. That's actually a really cool design. The hot glue was holding really solid everywhere else except for those two because there's a little bit of pressure when you put it on there. So anyway, she's all installed and um, that's what it looks like. Pretty awesome. I, it'll be super nice to have some tunes. I've been without tunes for about a month. Um, so it's got a pretty gnarly glare going back there. But anyway, guys, I greatly appreciate you uh, watching this video. And I just hope it helps you out. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Uh, yeah, I, I thank you guys. Like I said, I just I thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching this video once again. Um, thank you for... Uh, just uh, yeah, watching these videos. I'm I'm not monetized. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, I do all this on my own money, on my own time. But anyway, um, I will get at you guys a little bit later, and uh, hope you're having a great day. Bye.